Greetings, everybody. So, uh, on this video, we're going to discuss about uh, some basic books on automatic control systems. Of course, automatic control systems are a very basic topic, uh, usually in engineering departments, uh, but also in mathematics departments as well. I mean, I was from the mathematics department. We had uh, automatic control as a course. Uh, so, you know, I have been reading control books uh, especially when I was doing my PhD, I read a lot of books. I have many books all around here. And uh, I have been teaching for some years now automatic control systems in various departments. Uh, so the syllabus, depending on the department, may have some variations, but it pretty much remains the same. So, you know, there are some basic books uh, that many people use. I mean, you will find them in many, many different departments. Uh, I think they are the most famous ones. Uh, I would generally like to speak about the most important ones uh, from my perspective, my perspective, of course, I have not read every book of automatic control, but I guess these are the basic ones that I believe are the best choice uh, for starting to study the topic of automatic control systems. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, for me, the one that I have been using uh, when I was teaching the course uh, all these years, and previously my professor was using it as well, uh, is the Control Systems Engineering book uh, by Norman Nees. I think it's one of the best books uh, for starting and uh, learning control theory. It is a very big book. I mean, most of the books here in the list are very big. Uh, I was mainly studying it in the seventh edition, but uh, which is around from 2014. I know there is an, an eighth edition now. I have not read that yet. Uh, the good thing is that with any new edition, they always add more simulations. So for me, this is one of the best books in teaching control and learning the basics of control. It is very well structured. It has a lot of examples. Some are in MATLAB. Uh, some are basic examples that you can read, uh, write and solve uh, by hand. Uh, it is and That's the most important thing for me. It is very, very well structured. So when teaching a course on automatic control, you can take, let's say, the first six or seven chapters and use them for a semester. Okay, so it is very well organized. Everything is explained. And I think it fits both mathematicians and engineers as well. So if you are in an engineering department, this is a great choice. If you are at the mathematics department, again, this is a great choice. Okay, so either electrical engineering, math uh, mechanical engineering, whatever. Okay, so I believe this book suits everybody, I think. Uh, it is my uh, top choice here on the list. Now, another great choice that is used uh, for teaching, again, a very, very big book, uh, is the book by Ogata, Modern Cotton Engineering. It's on the fifth edition, I believe. Uh, very well organized book as well. Uh, great book, very big book. Um, for me, it is uh, better uh, compared to the book by Nice in one perspective. The chapters on state space systems are great. Okay, so if you want to teach a course and you want to take the approach not by transfer function analysis but mostly uh, by state space systems, I believe it is maybe a better choice than uh, the previous book. Okay, because the chapters here uh, that have to do with uh, state space systems are very well organized. Uh, again, lots of examples, pretty much like the previous book. Uh, but I think it is a bit better if you want to go towards uh, state space design rather than transfer functions, uh, because the, I, I think there are a couple of, of chapters at the end. They are great for this. Okay, uh, For me, these are the best choices uh, for any teacher or student uh, that wants to learn about the basics of automatic control. Right. Uh, a third choice, it is very, very famous, uh, is the Modern Control System by Dorf and Bishop. Okay. Extremely famous book. I think it's on the 14th edition, so as you can understand, it is very, very famous. Okay, uh, if I had to choose uh, between this and the uh, book by Norman Nees, I would go with the first one. I think it suits me better. Uh, the reason I say this is I believe that the Nees book is uh, much better organized. So the chapters are uh, a bit more fluent. You go step by step into the topic of modeling, you know, first, second order systems, feedback, and so on and so on. So I believe uh, the book that of, you know, automatic control systems by Norman Nees builds better into the syllabus uh, compared to this one. 
But of course, this book is very, very famous. So obviously many people like this. Uh, so again, it is a very nice choice. Okay, uh, the edition that I had is this one. I think it is the 14th edition. No, the, let me see, the 11th edition. Okay, that's the one that I had when I was growing up. Okay. Now, I think these are uh, the best choices that you can have uh, on teaching automatic control, both in mathematicians uh, for mathematicians and for engineers as well. Okay, so these are for me uh, the best choices. Now let's give some alternatives. Okay, uh, if you are going to teach discrete time systems, okay, usually it is not that common in undergraduates to start with continuous time, and but there are courses on discrete time systems. Okay, so my choice is to go with Agata discrete time control systems. Um, great choice. I think everything is very well explained. Very big book. Very good syllabus. Uh, many examples inside. So I think this is a great choice for those that are already familiar with, uh, you know, automatic control, but want to study the discrete time case. Okay, so for me, this is the great choice. Uh, now, another alternative choice is another classic. It's the Linear Systems book by Anza Klis and uh, uh, Mitchell. This is, I mean, again, very big book. But I think uh, it is a bit more suitable for mathematicians, at least from my perspective. Uh, again, great for state space analysis mainly, um, but I think it has a little bit more uh, mathematic components into it. Great choice. Uh, maybe engineers may be a bit unfamiliar, uh, not unfamiliar, I'm sorry, uh, may find the, you know, the material a bit more hard to go through. I may be wrong, of course. So I guess this is a little bit more suitable for mathematicians rather than engineers. Uh, but I may be wrong, of course. Okay, so this is a great choice. Now, uh, as with all uh, courses on automatic control, we usually teach a little bit of MATLAB as well. Now, uh, the first three books that I showed you, the Ogata, uh, the Nice, the Dorf and Bishop, all of them have examples on MATLAB. So ideally, you can use those uh, books already with their support sites and appendices, etc., uh, to teach control systems and give a lot of MATLAB examples, right? But uh, if you want some additional resource to give to the to your students, uh, this is another good choice. Uh, it's a bit older, from 2014. I read it when I was doing my PhD. I think it has a lot of great examples. Uh, on MATLAB and Simulink. Okay, so modeling, analysis, and design of control systems in MATLAB and Simulink. Okay, and I will not pronounce the authors uh, in case I don't pronounce them correctly. So again, this is a great choice. Uh, this is, I think, my suggestion for those who want to put more emphasis on MATLAB and Simulink. Okay, but I should also note the previous books already have examples on MATLAB. Okay, now, uh, as an alternative to that, I don't know uh, the rules in your university, but usually we don't have access to more than one books per semester for each course. So you can go for MATLAB for an open access choice. And now by no means, I don't claim this to be the best uh, uh, book. It's one uh, called an introduction to control theory applications with MATLAB. Uh, I'm one of the authors. We read that we wrote this in 2015 when I was doing my PhD. Uh, in my own university, okay? So uh, this doesn't include any theory. It's a it's actually a complementary book to the previous ones that I showed you, but it only has examples, very simplistic, uh, but very complete on MATLAB. So if you wanna use, for example, an open access choice that is free uh, to accompany your studying using the other books that I mentioned, I believe this is a very good choice, okay? Uh, just as an alternative free choice for learning MATLAB with control systems, okay? So these are the, basics the basic books for me. Of course, there are other very famous books, uh, but these are my top choices. These are the ones that I suggest to my own students as well. Of course, if you have alternatives, you can feel free to post them in the comments. Uh, I have some additional uh, books, but these are all in Greek, so we won't cover them here. So thank you very much. And uh, in the description of the video, I will put a link to all of those books so you can uh, access them, okay? And see the details, like how many pages there are, what is the edition number, and so on. Okay, so if you have some alternative choices, of course, feel free to suggest them in the comments. Thank you very much.